Hey everyone, so what you are seeing here is a Minecraft world from when I was 10 years old. Uh, this was last opened July 2014, and recently I was doing some digging around on some old files and I found this Minecraft world. There were a lot of other worlds in the folder as well, but there was nothing really too exciting, so if you want to see those, I made a long Twitter thread with a bunch of screenshots and everything you need to know about them. Anyway, so this world is called My First Survival, and it was a survival world for about 30 seconds, maybe, and then I switched it to creative because it was more fun. I was like, okay, I'll just build my house to get myself started, then I'll switch back to survival. It never really happened, so now it's just called Create for Joy, and I spent a lot of time on this world, I remember, and then one day I just left it because I tried spawning in an ender dragon, and I heard the sound of a bunch of blocks breaking, and I panicked and quit off the world and never went back on. Anyway, so I went back on and instantly did a kill at E on the Ender Dragon, and there doesn't seem to be any damage done. So let's tour through the world. So right off the bat, there's a lot of stuff to notice. Over here, we seem to have a nice, uh, we got a water slide. I might as well grab a boat. Also, my inventory seems to have a lot of random stuff in it, even a command block. Uh, probably nothing too exciting to keep. I uh, guess we can grab a boat and try out this water slide just to kick things off. It's got a ladder to go in, even though it's creative, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Wait, I'm not even in the boat! Ah, there we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, so I guess we should just head on to the house before we go through outside. There's a lot to cover, I know. Got a minecart, skating rink. Anyway, so inside the house, I remember so much of this. You got a little creeper carpet with Nothing being smelted apparently. I think I just have the I think I just have the cooked furnace block place. Uh way too many diamonds. Again, this was a fully creative world, so I don't know why all this stuff exists. There's a death hole which seems to just go into the void. Uh potions got water bottles in them, I guess. Here's a guest room with a bunch of mob heads. I don't remember this one. Uh, so I figured out how to get custom heads and I kind of milked that. All the MHF heads. Got the classic chair there. And there's a Hero Brian that says good night. And I think when you sleep in it, you could see the Hero Brian if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe when you wake up. I don't remember. You used to be able to see it. There we go. Sorry, this is just a really random video, so don't expect much. I. I just logged into this world, so I don't really know what to expect. Oop, I meant it. Oh, it's already set today, never mind. Uh, command blocks are actually still filled out. I expected them to be empty. This one's empty. Nope, never mind. It's not. It's time set zero. So this world was made in 1.7, so there's a lot of stuff that's... Whoa. Oh, I thought that it crashed. There's a lot of stuff that might be broken now, because... I'll get to that later, that I remember. Uh... Enchanted TNT block apparently. Probably this is probably just this pig spawner. Yeah, no surprises there. Got a weird ender chest. Ooh, that's a strong sword. Uh, so anyways, let's head downstairs. This is where it gets interesting. That was just me messing with command blocks. So this is what I heard when the ender dragon spawned. The sound of all of these going off. And I thought that meant like the Ender Dragon disarmed them and broke all the blocks or whatever. Seems to be just fine. Is, is mob griefing even on? Mob griefing is on. Uh, down here is a mine. Emergency exit through the back up here. And on the other side is two mine. This area right here. Uh, I remember I recorded a video in this. What the heck? I'll get to that. This area right here was recorded in an old video I had on Google Drive. That just flew back to me now. Uh, I will play that video now, I guess. It's a perfect day for Minecraft with Craig. Uh, another high trigger. I think that's from a tripwire. Unless a mob just triggered that. Did it? That'd be funny if it did. 
Oh, and there's a skeleton in the house. That's that's real nice. What's up with that? <laughs> Honestly, I'd like to know where that came from. Seems like all the advancements reset. Anyways, down here just seems to be mine. Yeah, here's the tripwire that drops emeralds. That I remember. An emerald and a diamond. And then from here, I think it's just a plain old mine. Ooh, no, I remember this. I remember this very well. This path, I remember taking this path a lot to get here. This is the effect room where you can click a button and get any effect you want. Uh, doesn't seem to work anymore. Yeah, see, here's the thing. So now if you wanted to give yourself a hunger regeneration, which is just saturation, you do effect at, you do effect, give, at P, Minecraft saturation. Back then, you couldn't do like, Minecraft, whatever, you had to memorize the ID for them. So for example, the ID for saturation is 23, and then this is the time, and that's the amplifier. So these are all like the correct IDs, weakness is 18, etc. And you can see they actually ran successfully, but now if I click it, it just says unknown, whatever that is. And you can also just drink milk. Wait, does the slash give still... Why is it my... Okay, that's interesting, because... I could have sw there were also item IDs for all the Minecraft items, which means that when I loaded this world, they so because I'm in one in four one point fourteen now, maybe they automatically shifted to the this version, which is really interesting. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, over here is another emergency exit, or is this the emergency exit? I have no idea. I can't read my own signs. Seems to really like glowstone, because I read that it was stronger than torches, which, mind you, it is. Is this the effect room? Yeah, it is. Not really sure what any of this stuff is, why there's a blank hole there. Another death hole here. Alright, so let's head back up to the house and go the other way, where there is... Where's my prize creation? <laughs> oh, this is a fun video to record. Uh... So this is the portal room, it's just nether portal and, oh, is that TNT? What the heck? Oh wait, no, that's a command block, I think. Why would I put TNT in my own base? Uh, and it teleports me to the storage room, that block apparently, what the, where even am I? Uh, okay, wait, so that was the portal room, slash TP seems to work just fine. There's a lot of teleporters, oh, that's to the water slide. Oh, oh, so this is just to get around the world. That's interesting. Uh, anyways, let's head to the storage room. Oh my god, I made this when I was 10. So are these all these IDs? No, these still use item IDs, so if I click them, they will not work. Maybe I went on this world when 1.8 came out? I don't know. Anyway, so there's all sorts of items I could just give myself. Diamond, redstone, and these all use item IDs. Again, like... Zero is air, one is stone, two is dirt, if I remember correctly, and there's one for every item. And it's just a blank enchanted book. I'm curious, what happens if I use this? It doesn't work. That's really interesting. Uh, so yeah, storage room. I remember I was really proud of making this, although it's nothing really that exciting anymore. This is a cake room, I guess. Oh, are these four-sided wood blocks? Wait, can I copy this with NVT? This might be four-sided wood blocks. That's interesting. I didn't even realize. I don't think back then I knew how to get them. They were only actually properly added in 1.14, I think. Oh, down here was like a little parkour thing I made. This I remember. It's all coming back to me now, oh my god. And the ladder just gets in the way, so you gotta jump across the lily pads. It's a chest with water bottles. And that apparently teleports you back to the base. Let's just spectator mode over there. Uh, you can see it just keeps going and then it just ends. And there's nothing. Could have at least put a cake there or something. Oh wait, is this a timer? Oh. I don't even think that's possible, which is kind of funny. Uh, maybe maybe there was like a swiftness potion or something you could grab. Anyways. 
heading back. Let's try one of the other rooms we got. Was there any? Is there anything in the Nether? I guess let's find out. I don't actually think I touched the Nether in this world. I will be very surprised if there's something there, honestly. If you hear screaming in the background, that's my brother playing Counter Strike. I'm sorry, he he he's that guy. Okay, that's it. water in the Nether. Water in the freaking Nether. I'm not sure how I pulled that off, but that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Other than that, it doesn't seem like there's much there, so let's just move on. Uh, this was... Oh, that's where I just came from. Oops. So water slide I did at the start of the video. Are these all just places outside. Ice rink. Effect room. Yeah. So let's head back to uh, the water slide and I'll work from there. Alright, so let's talk about the outside a little bit. Right here we have a... Uh, not really sure what this is, to be honest. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem very humane. Oh. What did that do? Maybe it's like some supposed to be some kind of weird pig farm? What does this dispenser hold? Furnace. It's, maybe it's like an automatic pig killer? The hopper's pointing the wrong way, which is funny. This is the ice rink. I think it's just... That's about all there is to it. I remember building a snow golem right here. The first one I ever made. My friend told me about it. This jukebox has nothing. Random cocoa tree there. Can I even get out from here? I don't think so. Luckily, there's spectator mode now. Oh, that's just to get out of the water slide. Interesting. So if you saw the name Piggy Hut a little while ago, that's over here. And it seems to just be a bunch of pigs named Dinnerbone. It's also soul sand, which I believe is iced. Yep. I don't want to sabotage this artifact. And yeah, this is what I did with all the pig spawners. Didn't really know how to use, how to change the spawner. I don't even think you could yet. Piggy hut. <laughs> Can we make that a channel meme? Eh, second channel doesn't get memes. We got a big minecart track here. We'll save that for the end. Let me slash clear myself. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what this is, but I'll play along. It probably has some kind of purpose I'm not aware about. Uh, I think this is just a random balcony, and as you can see, I was, this is a very rich first survival world. And that block annoys me. Uh, this is just probably a piston test. And this house, I definitely used a tutorial for. Wait. This might have been the house that's in the Minecraft building handbook. Hi, it's Colin from the future, and I just did some digging, and here's the Minecraft annual 2014 handbook. Open it up to this page, and there is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the cozy cottage. Uh, there is a photo of it, and there, let me turn that light off. And I built the exact thing. Mind you, there's no fence around it. <laughs> <laughs> I find that hilarious. This might actually be the exact house. I just followed the tutorial. Uh, oop. That was very stupid of me. There it is. Uh, let me put that back in its place. Everything's empty. Furnace has some coal. There's even a basement with more empty stuff. Nothing too exciting. Just a house that I definitely used the tutorial for. I remember building this, but I don't remember its purpose. You can't even go up it. You need to, uh, there's no ladder or anything. You just need to fly. I don't actually think there was a, yeah, I didn't know how to use slash fill back then. So that was all painstakingly done by me. Summon a cow. At, it seems like whenever it turns to day to spawn a cow at these coordinates. I'm not really sure where that is, but that's up here, apparently. Oh, wait. Was it? Is it? Wait, slash TP, paste those score. Yeah, that's right there. Uh, let's set the time back to zero. I should be dead from that. Not sure what that is, honestly. There's a big obsidian. Oh, first sponge. I think that's literally just a sponge. 
Oh, that's it. That's just me messing with trap chest. Not sure what this is for. Probably spawn some mobs in it or something. Uh, what else do we got in this world? It's a lot. It's a lot less exciting than I remember, really, but still a lot of fun to look through. Ooh. Let's switch back to spectator mode in case there's anything I missed. Oh yeah, so there's an enchant room here, and there's an end crystal over there. And a creepy cave noise. I think this is just me messing with enchanting. My friend was the one who told me that you have to have bookshelves to enchant correctly. Is it even at 30? No way, that's 30. Oh, it is. And we just got the one of the worst swords you can get in the game. Wonderful. Uh... Here's an enchant room. Heist item enchant always heist. You want to heist item you want to enchant. Enchantment is always highest level. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to read that, and it tells you what respiration is only for helmet. Blah blah blah. And just like everything else, every all the enchantments had their own IDs. God, this is so interesting. It seems so annoying. Glad they did away with that. Another death hole over here. Wait, is that the same one? No. What was with me and death holes? Seriously, did, did I have like a thing for that? Uh, any other places to fast travel to? Piggy hut, we checked out, and ice rink, effect room. Hmm. Not really sure how you're supposed to see that end crystal here. Also, yeah, I missed this. This is a, just a note block room. And also some music discs. Nothing too exciting. This one's playing Ward. Ward's a good music disc. Come to think of it, another thing that is worth checking out is the end. Didn't really cross my mind, but I wouldn't... I would imagine there's not really much here, just a defeated Ender Dragon, and... Sure enough, that's the case. Broken Portal as well. You can actually still break that, and even realize. Oh wait, there was a... There was a lever there. I missed that. Let me run back there. Uh, doesn't seem to do anything. Guess it's supposed to summon a giant. Well, it just fixed itself. There we go. Got a huge boy. Not really sure how these things work. I think they just stand there with no AI. Kind of interesting. Uh... Now, I remember there was a combination lock room somewhere. Maybe I could find that. My friend was teaching me how to build a combination lock. Oh, yeah. Right here. Uh, so, first of all, this is the head gallery. Again, I knew how to use custom heads and thought that was cool. Uh, that's lag. Okay, so it's just all the heads and then some really nice swords and stuff. And then there's a random chest room here with... Well, there's swords in this one, but other than that, I think it's completely empty, most likely. Why is there flowing lava? I hate that. That's about everything, by the looks of it. So I guess that leaves us with this giant minecart track. This right here was me testing a texture pack. I wanted to change the minecart sound. I think it was to song. I don't even remember what it was. It didn't work. I did not know how texture packs worked back then. Now I rely on faithful. All right, let's let's do this. Uh, so I'm not really sure how to commentate this. I could play music, but it would just be copyrighted. I guess let's just sit. Oh, that. What's it called? Booster rail, powered rail. I used to think it was powdered rail. There we go. We're moving. Oh. Okay. This is kind of broken. Oh, am I supposed to do this backwards? Probably, considering there's a jump there. Actually, just goes until here. And it's a whole chest of minecarts, really. So now I'm doing it the right way. Probably should have specified that at some point, but oh well. Who would have thought that, like, future me would be playing this? 
kind of funny. Uh, this cage thing, I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. But yeah, that's the Minecraft world from when I was 10 years old and hasn't been touched since July 20, July 2014, nearly 2,000 days ago. Untamed horse. I don't think I really have anything else to share. So yeah, that's about all I have to offer. Uh, you can do all that like, subscribe stuff if you want. It's my second channel, so I don't really have a preference. To top things off, let's just since this world is a backup anyways, let's just put that Ender Dragon right where it was before. <laughs> See what happens. And oh my god, I had a reason to panic. Oh my god. <laughs> no wonder I was so upset. I'm just surprised that it didn't actually uh, do this. Actually, come to think of it, there is one more thing. Uh, so I just put the world back to where it was before. These are all my other old backed up worlds. So if I scroll down to the very bottom, here's uh, the world again. But now, this was the original backup, which means that the real Ender Dragon's still in it. So if I load this one, let's see what happened. Let's see what would happen if I didn't insta-kill the Ender Dragon as soon as I spawned into the world. That's something worth checking out. Because this is what terrified me as a, when I was younger. I can't really say as a kid, I'm still pretty young. I knew that if I logged in, more work would be destroyed. I had to find a way to do it through the game files. I thought of like paying someone online to do it. I was desperate. I didn't want to lose all this. I really just went in with kill on my clipboard. Anyways. You can hear... Ooh, wait, no, it's... You can hear it. Where is it? It's over there. Flying around. So this is the original Ender Dragon doing its damage. Doesn't seem like it's as bad as I thought. Which makes me wonder if the trip, if the arrows being shot I heard back there were just from some random mob. Yeah, see, they were all just shot. And what's that status effect they have? Do they have, like, Wither or something? And... Ender Dragon seems completely harmless, really. That's very interesting. <laughs> so after all that time, I really had nothing to be afraid of. It's completely harmless. <laughs> That's nice. Well, for real this time, see ya.